How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a variety that I've wanted to make a video about for a long time. This is one of the varieties that is most popular here at Urban Herbs with our customers, but it's also popular with everybody that works at Urban Herbs. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why I think you should grow samphire at home, but also how you can and give you some tips for success. Depending on where you are watching this video in the world, you may or may not have heard of samphire. The fact that you've clicked on this video tells me that you like the idea of growing your own samphire. I'm going to start this video with a little bit of a geography lesson. The UK is an island and I live pretty much in the middle of the UK in a place called Birmingham, in a place called the Midlands. And we are pretty much the furthest that you can get from the sea in the UK. We're slap bang in the middle of the island. The nearest coastline is probably two or three hours drive away, which I appreciate to some of my American friends isn't far, but to me, a two or three hour drive is quite decent. The plant that I'm holding here is samphire. And samphire traditionally will grow by the coast. It's a seaside plant. It kind of looks like a seaweed, doesn't it? As I'm holding it here, quite otherworldly, almost like a succulent. Samphire is an edible plant that has shot to popularity in recent times. It's become quite fashionable. Samphire is one of those fashionable ingredients that just captures the imagination. And I love to eat it in restaurants and I'm so excited to see it on the menu in restaurants. If you live by the seaside, you'll instantly recognize samphire. The reason why I've given you that little geography lesson is because it's very, very important in understanding why I think that growing this plant is so cool. I live so far from the coast, so I think it's really, really cool that I'm able to grow samphire literally outside my back door, being a long way away from the sea. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can do that. I'm gonna share with you some of my tips for success, but I'm gonna start by telling you why I love this flavor so much and why I love growing samphire so much. Let's start with how it looks. I think samphire looks really cool. Does anyone else think that this looks quite otherworldly, like something you'd see growing on an alien planet? I think it looks really cool, really different to all the other herbs in the herb garden. It stands out from the rest. And I think it's really quite architectural. It's really quite pretty. It adds some form and structure to your herb garden. So I think samphire is really good looking. That's reason number one why I think you should grow it. Number two, samphire is really tasty. It traditionally has quite a salty flavour, I'll come to that in a minute, and it's perfect to be served next to fish, although we often have it chopped into a salad. I love the salty flavour that samphire contains, it really is gorgeous. The third reason why I think you should grow samphire is something a little bit more profound. I started this video with a geography lesson, I explained that I live nowhere near the sea, but yet I'm able to grow this traditional seaside plant outside my back door here in the Midlands, UK. And for me, this sums up what I love about growing. It's about taking traditional plants and taking growing rules and bending them slightly, adapting them to my circumstances and making them work for me. Also, let's be honest, I'm one of these people who just likes doing things that are a bit different. I like people coming to my garden and saying, whoa, what's that? I thought that was a seaside plant. That gives me a kick. I guess I'm a plant collector. I think those are three really good reasons why you should grow samphire. But I've also got some really good news for you because samphire is really, really easy to grow. You're gonna to wanna to grow samphire in a shaded position. We've had really good results growing in partial shade. Although it has survived in full sun as well, our best results have certainly been in partial shade or quite shaded conditions. And you're gonna to wanna to plant samphire in a pot. There's a very important reason for this, and that reason is, is that you're gonna to want to water samphire with salt water. So the best way to actually grow samphire is to plant it in a pot like this with drainage holes, and then put that pot into a bucket or container, which has the salt water mix, yeah, I said salt water mix, contained within it. You're gonna to wanna to water it with salt water. Once you put the pot of samphire into that salt water mix, the plant is going to slowly start soaking up that delicious salty flavor into the root system. And at that point, the samphire plant is gonna acquire that really delicious salty flavor that I love so much. Then you just keep topping up 
the bucket or tray that your samphire is sitting in and it will keep on soaking up that salty flavor and the plant will grow. It grows really well. It gets quite tall and you'll see more and more shoots just coming from the base as the plant thickens out. And I find that the more you cut it, the more it thickens out and you're going to end up with quite a bit of samphire. Now, samphire does not grow rapidly. It doesn't take over like mint does. So if you eat a lot of samphire, I'd probably look to purchase two or three samphire plants. Myself and my wife live in here. We've put three samphire plants into a large pot and we've had really good success with that. So we've kind of managed to keep up with our demand having fish once a week. Hopefully that gives you an idea about the growth rate. I always joke and say to people, you know, you're never going to start exporting samphire by the kilo growing it in this way. But it's a lot of fun and it's tasty. And it kind of does what the best herbs do, which is it kind of challenges you to experiment with new dishes. And hopefully as you're watching this video, you are daydreaming about using samphire with some delicious food this evening. I know I certainly am. It's nearly dinner time here. And I'm going to end this video at this point and say I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this very short crash course in growing samphire. If you have, or if you'd like more information about growing samphire, please just drop me a message in the comment section below. And I really will respond and I will try to post another video answering your question. Let's see how that works. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It feels quite cheeky asking for that, but that interaction really does help a small channel like ours. Until next time, guys, my name's Andy from Urban Herbs, and this has been the amazing Samphire.